Greetings Internet, my name is Sir Swaggleton and welcome back to Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark. In the last episode, we went ahead and took on the Lighthouse Challenge and succeeded in beating the leader of the Lighthouse Beacon, getting HMO to fly. After that, we went to this very spot and battled our rival, but one of the other things that happened was Bale Pup finally got to the levels, a couple more levels than we expected, but Bale Pup finally has all of the moves that we want for her. So, our little Ursa in today's episode, as you can see, it is nighttime. So we're gonna work on trying to get Ursa leveled up one more time so we can finally, finally evolve her. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and do our quick team recap. We have Ursa here holding the Moonstone because we need her to evolve. We're rocking Crunch, Howl, Moonlight, and Foul Play. After that, we have our newest members, Saike, holding knockoff, or holding Rock and Knockoff, Brick Break, False Swipe, and Sucker Punch. Next, we have Thunder Rar, holding the leftovers, Rock and Strength, Thunder Fang, Thunder Wave, and Bulldoze. After that, we have Septic, our starter, holding the Mystic Water, Rock and Body Slam, Focus Energy Surf and Poison Tail, and then we have Peter, our Pixelily, holding the Life Orb, Rockin' Quiver Dance, Psy Beam, Dazzling Gleam, and Bug Buzz. And we still have this egg that just doesn't want to hatch. So, if you're looking forward to today's episode, please do give that like button a nice little poke for me. And, without further delay, we're gonna go south. And say, unless we get stopped for some reason, we are now on Route 11. So, hello. I can't move. <laughs> Howdy there, you trainer. You are? And your name is Swaggle. Well, I dang, my name's Sally. I live and live and work here at the A-Barrel Ranch. I suppose you've heard of this place. This is where we raise Bagel. Come, I'll show you around. Hey, Swaggle, wait up. It's Rodney. Rodney's here. Oh, Andrea. Hey, Swaggle, are you going to Hay Barrel Ranch? Uh, who am I you two be? I'm Rodney. My name is Kira. We are here to see the Bay Wool, if that's okay. Well, hot dog, sure, I was gonna show Swaggle around. Just join us. That's all, we're all gonna go on a magical happy adventure. This is our farmhouse. My dad had built it with his own hands. All of the farm workers live there. And if you look over here, this is the very planting field. If you have some berries, you can just plant and try it out. We don't have any berries because we didn't plant any. Over here, some grass. That's an apple. There's some water. This is here's our barn. In it, we raise our bale wool. And when they're old enough, we evolve them with the evolutionary stones. Come on in. I'll show you all my bale wool. We'll wait for you indoors, Swaggle. So, I don't even get to go in. That's fine, because there's an item over here that we need to go get. We're going to play in your water first. Oh, look at that reflect. Fuck. Shun. <laughs> Oh, hello, English. Well, I mean, we need to get some EXP for little Ursa here. And I feel like this episode is going to be a lot less battling. Don't set up a light screen. And I'm using physical attacks anyway. Just go away. I just want to chip away that some of that EXP from you. All right. So let's see what we got. X attack 2. I mean, I got two X attacks? Or is that like the... What did I just get? X attack two. Sharply raises the attack stack of Pokemon. Oh, I get it. So rather than an X attack, which just raises it one stage, X attack two raises it two stages. That makes sense. I see a patch of something over there. And I want to go see. Oh, English, English, you go ahead and put yourself in your little ring. We're trying to evolve a dog. It's weird that you have to level up Bale Pup while holding the Moonstone, rather than just slapping it with the Moonstone. Like, physically. Like, taking a Moonstone and just slap! <laughs> well, anyway, thank you for the EXP. What's over here? Berry! A lumberry, to be exact. All right, well, yeah, let's go ahead and see what's going on inside that there farm. Hot dog, we need to go see the farm. Almost. Oh, I just noticed the little ripples that happen as you walk by. That's cool. All right, anyway. Actually, one more stall tactic. What's this apple? You found an apple. Oh, I literally picked up the apple. Is it a healing item? 
No, it's a regular item. I think. What? What? Is it a key item? No. Is it a key item? Or does it just disappear? Uh, is it under here? No. Wouldn't be a TM or a ball. Uh, okay. So I found an apple, and then it vanished into the space-time continuum. Hi, everyone. Well, yeehaw, here are all the bat wool. They're so cute. They are, aren't they? Bat wool are... Bat wool are sure well known for their amazingly soft and silky wool. I've heard that bat wool can evolve into different Pokemon, is that right? Yes, sir, our dog, that's right. Bat wool can evolve into six different types of Pokemon. You could say it's the Eevee of this generation. Wow, I want one so bad. Can I pet them? Well, hot dog, sure, why not? While you're at it, ask the breeders about, uh, hear about the evolutions. I sure they can give you information about them. That's about it. Okay. Hello. Hello. In this picture, you can see Bow Bone. It's the rock type evolution of Bow Wall. Honestly, they all should have, like, a yeehaw accent. That's a cool looking Pokemon. It evolves a battle when exposed to a solid stone. Bad blows as well as very rough and dry. It's one of the strongest materials in the world. And are you all just little sheepies? Alright, so you're just gonna literally. This is a picture you can see. Oh, it is so cute. Cold stone. So it's. Is it a uh, ice type? So I'm guessing we got a rock type and ice type. What about you? A flying type. Wow. That's something uh, Eevee doesn't even have. It's like sleeping on a cloud. Well, yeehaw. What else we got over here? Well, yeehaw. In hello in this picture, you can see Babble. It's a water type evolution. Blah, blah, blah. Cool, cool, cool. All right, and you. Whoa. It's the fire type. This sheep is on fire. Close to keep warm, and you'll be the last one. Oh, it's the grass type. Did we? I didn't see an electric type. Oh, so literally, that's all we know. Wow, no, God, Swaggle, I think you have all the information. You need to come on back. I want to hear your opinion about the bow wool. Well, hot dog, what'd you think? I like like them so much. I like babbled. It looks tough. Well, hot dog, what was that? It came from outside the back of the barn. We should, like, go after her and see what happened. But we're gonna, like, leave Swaggle behind because fuck that asshole. Oh, look at that. It's Team Squeaky Bastards. Get back here. You can't escape me. Hurt them in. Hey, it's Team Solar. Like, leave those poor Babble alone. It's those kids again. Well, how now? Who are all these people? What are they doing to the Babble? They're, like... Bad guys. We're taking this bowel. They'll be useful for us. Stay out of the road, kids. You've messed with our plans too many times already. Take them out. Swaggle, Kira, let's show them what we've got. We'll take care of this, Sally. Is this going to be a triple battle? Aww. Aww, well, that's a lot less fun. <laughs> I was about to be really, I guess that would be a lot happening on the screen. But I was going to be really cool having a triple battle with both of our rivals. Alright, fine. I guess we'll each just do one. Uh, I mean, I guess you can lower my speed. I'm already pretty slow. Do that again. I'm going to howl again. No. See, when we do acid, bad things happen. Alright. One more howl. I'm getting greedy. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Don't poison. Alright. So now that we've howled enough, we're gonna stop you. We won't let you take all the bowel. I wanted to take all the bowel, you bastards. <laughs> uh, honestly, if I had to choose a bowel based solely on all those designs I just saw, I would say the fire one and then the rock looking one were my two favorites. Let's foul play. Now that our attack is up, will you stop doing acid with me? It is not nice. Oh, come on, Ursa, really? Oh, actually, I have Moonlight. Stop it. Oh, Jesus, that would have hurt. Me. Oh, that does, like, nothing. All right, fine, we'll use another hyper potion. I just want Urza to level up. That's all I want. Bring it on. Oh, now you do Thunderfang, huh? 
Oh my god, that does so- Oh, of course you got it. Great. Uh, heal spamming, heal spamming. We love the heal spamming. Um, let's see. It's, honestly, that does bring into question, or not really question, but point of other potential EVs. I, uh, I think that was kind of one of my biggest disappointments with X and Y was the fact that we only got one evolution and it was Sylveon which is actually one of my favorite evolutions but I'm probably gonna die here yep definitely gonna die here <laughs> but um what was I saying Eevee's that's right the uh, only real reason I was disappointed was the fact of that we only got the one we got the fairy type sylveon which is awesome but every other time we've always gotten them in like groups of two aqua tail Ooh. Uh, well, that's 85 100 that's 90 90 i never use focus energy but i always wished we had gotten another one and a lot of times the evolutions when they come together we get and max revised, don't I? Yes. When they come together, like one is better against the other. That's what I'm saying. That's the word I was looking for. So when that happens, like I thought it'd been really cool if we had either gotten a poison type Eevee to counteract with Sylveon or a dragon type Eevee to also like give Sylveon an advantage. It's like, hey, Sylveon is the better one against this one or hey you can either you actually honestly I think that would be the better of the two would have been the dragon type Eevee because um, if we got a poison type Eevee to body Sylveon I guess Sylveon would have been harder to be a representation of the fairy type Lure can't stop the rise of some solar not a dumb why do you keep messing with our plans let's do that whole flash Solar Flower! I'm the rare to that work, but I don't care. Well, Hot Dog, thank y'all so much for saving the bow. Well, I don't know what I would have done if they had gotten away with them. I'll need to go tell my Pop Pop what happened. Come with me. Oh, well, Hot Dog, sounds like they could save the day then. Hot Dog, they did, Pap, and they saved all the bow wool. Well, thank you, kids. Who knows what the Team Solar would have done with the bow wool. You saved them all and our ranch. It was no problem at all. We're, like, glad we could help. Well, I want to thank y'all with a gift. I allow all three of you to capture your own bow wool from our ranch to keep for yourselves. Really? Wow. Like, thank you. Oh, my God, I'm so happy. A hot dog is the least we could do. We just go out to the barn and capture one of the bow wool at the back. Like, thank you so much. What if I don't want your bow wool? Thank you. Thank you, Swaggle. You and your friends saved our ranch. Best wishes on your journey, Swaggle. I hope the bow wool will help you like hot dog. I can't talk to your trash can. <laughs> uh, Alright, so I guess we can go catch a bow wool. I mean, might as well. Hello. So I'm guessing, yep, you're, isn't this bowel cute? I'll take this bowel, it looks really strong. What if I wanted this one? All right, well, let's save the game in case I mess it up. And, um, actually you have Thunder Wave, so let's switch you. Cause I actually want to try it. Would you like to take this bowel? Yes. Oh, we don't even have to fight it. Alright, so it's an Eevee sheep. It's a bowel. A bowel. Mmm. Bowel. A male bowel. Cute little. Oh, no. This is not insurgents. Do, 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 do. I'm going to call you Sean. After Sean the sheep, because. I don't know. It popped into my head. So, Sean the sheep is here. Transfer to box two. Oh, and you guys did it all at the same time. I'm like so happy. My bowel is so cute. I wonder what it should evolve it into. I already know what mine will be. So Swaggle, where are you off to next? Rysek City. I've heard of that place. There's an artifact museum. They have heaps of ancient things there. It's pretty cool. 
I think that to get to Rahasek City, you have to go to Slayport Town. It's not too far from here. I'm going to like Ballista Hill. Hear that there are many cute Pokemon there. I'm going to the Safari Zone. It's not far from here either. I'll catch you later. Safari Zone. That's where we need to go. Like, see you later, Swaggle. If you come by Lake Bliss, I'll be there. So it looks like we have branching paths now. We can either go to the Safari Zone, Relic City, or to the lake. I want this apple. For no other reason than to say I found it. Oh, uh, which way to the Safari Zone? I want to go there. Entrance to Wild Plains, Safari Zone. That is 100% what I want. Yes, we need to chat, my friend. Hey, Swaggle, you made it. This is the Pokemon Safari Zone. Here you can find Pokemon you can't find anywhere else. It's a pretty cool place. It's like a game. You have 30 Safari Balls and a certain amount of time to catch as many Pokemon as you can. I tried it. I caught some pretty cool Pokemon. How about I show it to you? No, I'm not healed. I just wanted to go to the goddamn Safari Zone. <sighs> Mother bitch. Whoa. Hello. Nice to meet you. That's not your bowel, is it? No, I'm guessing that's your Dale. Um, bulldoze it? You look very ice type. Yeah, that's what I thought. Please just go away. <laughs> Man, why do you guys always want to fight the most inopportune time? I need. What am I doing? I'm wasting experience. Yes, yes, I need Ursa to go out. I'm just switch train you, Ursa. It's fine. It, uh, wasted that experience. Hello. Um. The septic always seems to be my count for you. Don't do a lot. Oh, god damn it. Not accuracy. That's the one thing I hate to see fall. Poison tail. Well, that did like jack shit. Well, at least you got damaged by the recoil. How much will a body slam do? Like jack shit. Man. Oh, you're part rock. What am I doing? Besides not healing. Aqua tailing. There we go. That worked. Got the job done. All right, who else you got? You got your Ryzadon. Ursa, come on out. You're so close. Almost there. I think it's funny that I ended up with some of the same team members. Um, because doesn't... Or, no, maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. I was thinking that um, Dickhead Trainer had a... Um, a Bayo. Bayo, that one. Whatever the evolved form is called, but maybe I'm thinking of somebody else. Come on, Psyche, you could do it. Um, soccer punch. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, that's gonna hurt. Oh, it didn't kill. I'm surprised it didn't kill. We're gonna sucker punch again, because <laughs> that does seem to work. Bye, Rizodon. We'll see you later. Got to heal you up. Ah, damn it. Are you kid? Peter is actually seriously falling behind. I just realized Peter's only level 40. Well, Peter, this does appear to be a fighting type, I think. So why don't you come on out? Yeah, look at them predictions. Lee, you were trying to hurt me. I'm gonna dazzling gleam you. Your mock punch ain't doing nothing, you little Tyrogue wannabe. I mean, you're adorable. I like you, honestly. You have really cute design. But you are Tyrogue, and now you're gone. Yes, I know. I lost HP from the life form. Come on. Oh, that was like nothing. Oh, it's your Bowel. Is it gonna already be evolved? Because that'll be silly if it is. Well, actually, you just have to slap a stone on it, so it wouldn't surprise me. It's not evolved yet. Oh, get out of Adorable. Um, so I'm guessing you're just a normal type. So actually, Psyche's basically dead though. Um, we'll just send Peter out. Honestly, Peter could use the experience. And there you go. See, look at me with the predictions for days. Dazzling gleam you. You cute little sheep. I got a solar flare of my own. You think team flare solar team flare team solar's uh thing is good. You ain't seen nothing. Lunape, you're nice and psychic type. You might actually be a good fight for Ursa. All right, Lunape, I'm going to need you to do me a favor while I heal. 
and I'm gonna need you to use any psychic move. I don't care what it is, just any of them. That is not it. No, give me that, I need that. <laughs> you son of a bitch. If I don't evolve, okay, good. <laughs> now, just die. I was gonna say, if I don't evolve because technically you're holding my moonstone, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Thank you for giving me my Moonstone back. And Rodney's been defeated. Not again. And it is time. At last, all of our hard work, all of the waiting, all of the waiting, worth it for this moment. Ursa is becoming complete. Oh, yes. Warehide, that's what you're called. <coughs> Excuse me. Where hide is here. Oh no, I thought I could win. Well, let me heal your Pokemon. At least you do that for me, you dick. I'll go to Rising City. I heard that you get a rare Pokemon if you beat a famous Pokemon trainer there. Next time, I will win. <laughs> or maybe not. Bye. Alright, cool beans. Alright, so uh, we are from the Kalos region. We came to recover for the famous Safari Zone. Let me show you what you... No, I don't... Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! Aw, zebra and a bull. Aw, and Earth is not in the front. That Bolson's got intimidate. Um, you seem like you'd be very normal. I also don't know why I bulldoze. That's gonna hurt Psyche too. Oh well, and lower my speed. Oh well, they're all slower too. Ha! <laughs> you can assurance me all you want. Hey, leave Psyche alone. I was kidding. You are, in fact, a normal type. Oh, that wasn't enough. Alright, well, anyway. Um, let's Thunderfang you and Brick Break you. Actually, I should Sucker Punch you. <laughs> there we go. And that would say Thunder Roar should go next, so there we go. Now the Bullzin is gone. Oh, of course you stomp on Psyche. Leave Psyche alone. Whoa, it's an alligator! Are you rock water? And we need to heal this turn. We're running low on hyper potions. Oh well. Alright. I really did not expect this to be a battle. I was gonna talk to a few people real quick. And then we were going to explore the Safari Zone next episode, but now, I guess we're battling instead. Who side beamed? The Zebus. So the Zebus is a psychic type, in theory. Let's confirm. Let's sucker punch it. A psychic Zebus? It's a Girafferig! <laughs> a Girafferig is one of the most forgotten Pokemon, and it's so sad. Torment. No, you don't need Torment. Like, if Girafferig got, like, an evolved form, or even a Mega Evolution, actually, no, I don't really like Mega Evolutions on one and dones, but definitely a regular evolution, that would be a lot cooler. That would be awesome. Alright. So what you got for me? It's a Flamingo! Aww, you and me can be Flamingos together. <laughs> Punching in its first. Oh, do you have to? Do you have to? Just go away. I'm guessing you're water flying after that. So you are dead. You are all kinds dead. Thunder Roar's level 43. Thunder Punch. Um, yes please. 75, 100. Well, that's 65, 95. Um, may flinch or leave a paralysis, but I got Thunder Wave for that. So 75, 100 over 65 for sure. Bye, Thunder Fang. And hello, Thunder Punch. Nice, we won! No, my new Pokemon! Oh, you beat us! Technically, they are from cows. Alright, so are the rest of you gonna wanna fight too? Might as well. That's a Fire Ranger, how about a battle? Yep, of course you do. I should be showing off where I. Why do I keep forgetting to switch? Who you got for me? <gasps> it's you! <laughs> Catch this bulldoze. <laughs> so. I guess this battle is just to show off everything that you can get in the Safari Zone. Because that's all these people seem to have. Hippond. 
Now we're gonna stay. That sounds very watery. Thunder potion is ground. <laughs> Thought about that too. It's like, oh, this might be, it might be water ground. Look at your little derpy hippo though. Just like herp a derp, a herp, a herp, a herp a derp a derp. Bow, wow, 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 wow. Why are you brining? Yeah. Okay. Cool beans, hippo. But you need to go away. It's cool that we learned Thunder Punch, but it would have been even cooler if we learned Earthquake. Just throwing that out there. Alright, who else you got? Bring it on. Cheetah. Sounds like it might be a bird, but I think it's time. Come on back, Thunder Roar. We have a fully evolved Ursa. Oh, it's a cheetah. It's an electric cheetah. Well, Ursa, with your new increased strength, foul play this cheetah. Destroy it. <laughs> God, I'm so happy. At last. Ah, no chance. All right, I'm guessing you're a battle too, so it's great. As far as you, I'll show you some special Pokemon. Yep. All right, fine. So we're going to battle this guy super quick. He's got the elephant. That's such a cute design. Do we have an actual elephant Pokemon? We have. I know we have mammoths. But is there... Oh, I guess uh, Fanfi and Donfan would be considered elephants. I would love to get another elephant that looks more elephanty. There's so many Pokemon they could do that I would love to see. Anyway, who you got next? Yeah, yeah it's like a yak. Yak, yak, don't do bark. Yo, am I correct in saying you're a yak? Aw, you a water yak. Foul play the little yak. I got my speed. Come on, foul play again. You are a water type. I'm guessing you're another water ground type. This game seems to love to have that. No, we're going to stay in. We're going to let Ursa. Oh, so that must have been what... It's like an ice lion? Since you're from the safari zone, I'm guessing? Look at Ursa just taking lives. Taking lives. Ursa's unstoppable. You're crit... Ah, oh, and then you flinch. Oh, look at that. Ursa took it. Ursa's taking hits left and right. Flinching doesn't matter. Ursa is unstoppable. Not that special. All right. So uh, we're going to go ahead. <coughs> I forgot to put this in my lap so I could prevent. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and quickly explore Safari Zone. One of those Pokemon we just saw is the final member of our team. You could probably guess because remember, we're looking for a fire type as well. And I spoiled it a while back for myself looking at the Pokedex. And I saw this Pokemon and was like, it's too adorable. It's an awesome looking Pokemon. I don't really care about stats in normal playthroughs. And so we're just we're going to go with that one. So if you can guess, then you'll find out next episode. So if you enjoyed this episode, please give that like button a nice little poke for me. Scroll on over and poke that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to scroll on down and leave a comment. Share the video with your friends. All that other happy-go-lucky stuff. But until next time, guys, see you then.